Hello guys, Jeffrey Antonico Diaz here and you're watching the significance of old school technology. Every interface that communicates over a local area network segment has a globally unique address, typically assigned at the factory. This address is protocol independent and is often called the hardware address. It is technically accurate, however, to call it the MAC address because it exists at the MAC sublayer of the data link layer. The hardware address is also called the Ethernet address or the physical address because these are used as a network address for most IEEE 802 network technologies including Ethernet and wireless fidelity. The media access control address itself is a 48-bit value commonly represented as a 12-digit hexadecimal number. As you may remember, the hexadecimal numbering system uses all digits from 0 through 9 and adds A through F. Each two-digit set is separated by colons or some manufacturers display it with dashes. The first three sets of digits are known as the organizationally unique identifier, which is administered by the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. And unique identifies the manufacturer of the interface. The last three form a value sometimes referred to as the device ID that the manufacturer must ensure exists only on a single manufactured interface that bears that OUI, making the entire 48-bit value unique worldwide. The OUI and the serialized suffix together make up a MAC address because the MAC address is almost universally permanently embedded in a ROM chip on the device. It is often referred to a burn-in address. Address. Normally, the MAC address of an interface is set at the factory and cannot be changed. MAC addresses are most often assigned by the manufacturer of an NIC and are stored in its hardware, such as the card's read-only memory or some firmware mechanism. For this purpose, all NIC manufacturers keep track of the MAC addresses they use so they do not duplicate addresses internally among their products. The IEEE ensures that no two manufacturers legally use the OUI. Again, this creates a globally unique identifier for each interface manufactured by any registered vendor, barring ROM manufacturers from randomly creating their own OUI. Administrators are able to change the MAC addresses of the cards they receive, so if they discover a rare duplicate MAC address, they can resolve the conflict or if they have not recommend locally administered addressing system, they can implement it. To that end, many operating systems allow a locally administered address to override the factory MAC address. The configuration procedure by is according to the software used but it is usually a simple procedure. A network node may have multiple NICs and each NIC must have a unique MAC address. Sophisticated network equipment such as a multi-layer switch or router may require one or more permanently assigned MAC addresses. MAC address spoofing is a technique for changing a factory assigned media access control address of a network interface on a network device. The MAC address that is hard-coded on a network interface controller cannot be changed. However, many drivers allow the MAC address to be changed. Additionally, there are tools which can make an operating system believe that the NIC has the MAC address of a user's choosing. The process of masking a MAC address is known as MAC spoofing. Essentially, MAC spoofing entails changing a computer's identity for any reason and it is relatively easy. The changing of the assigned MAC address may allow the bypassing of access control lists on servers or routers, either hiding a computer on a network network or allowing it to impersonate another network device. Max spoofing is done for legitimate and illicit purposes alike. So these are the command line tools that we are about to use in our activity. Get Mac. It is an example of networking command line tool that is used to enable an administrator to display the Mac address for network adapters on a system. To know more about Get Mac command, Simply type get mac space slash question mark and then hit enter key. ipconfig. It is an example of networking command line tool that is used to displace the current configurations of the installed IP stack on a network computer using TCP IP. To know more about ipconfig command, just type ipconfig space slash question mark and then press enter key. Technician MAC address changer is a freeware utility to instantly change your spoof MAC address of any network card. It has a very simple user interface and provides ample information regarding each NIC in the machine. Every NIC has a MAC address hardcoded in its circuit by the manufacturer. This hardcoded MAC address is used by Windows drivers to access Ethernet network. This tool can set a new MAC address to your NIC and bypassing the original hardcoded MAC address. Technician MAC address changer is a mass tool in every security 
security professionals toolbox. So these are the features of technician box address changer. It works on Windows 10, 8, and 7 for both 32-bit and 64-bit. It enhanced network configuration presets with Internet Protocol version 6 support allow you to quickly switch between network configurations. It allows complete configuration of any network adapter. Command line options with enter software functionality available. You can select a preset from a specified preset file to apply directly. It update network card vendor list feature allows you to download latest vendor data from ieee.org. This is the download page of Technician Mac Address Changer version 6.0.7. This video would not be possible without this one-of-a-kind application for IT professionals developed by Shreya Zare. Thanks for developing this software application. So let's start this activity by installing Technician Mac Address Changer version 6.0.7. If user account control appears, simply click yes button. This installation wizard will guide you to install the software step by step. Don't forget to close all the running applications before doing the installation process. Note, this installer must run as a user with elevated permission. As always, read the entire license agreement. Click I agree to above terms of agreement checkbox before clicking next button. Select the user for which the shortcuts must be created and then click next button. To finalize the procedure, simply click finish button. Let us launch Technician Mac Address Changer version 6.0.7. This application must have administrative privileges to run the program. The preset file is not currently associated with Technician Mac Address Changer. Click Yes button to associate the preset file now. Preset file was successfully associated with Technician Mac Address Changer. To view the entire IP configuration, simply type ipconfig space slash all and then hit enter key. In this command line, we actually see the entire IP configuration including physical address or the MAC address of the Ethernet adapter local area connection. MAC address is 6 octets in length written in hexadecimal number system. Let us try to use getMac command to display only the physical address. In Technician MAC Address Changer, click Random MAC Address button to view the suggested MAC address that we are about to use. To replace your original MAC address, simply click Change Now button. Let's try to view the new MAC address using two command line tools. Type ipconfig spaces dash all and then hit Enter key. Again, let's try to view only the MAC address by typing get MAC and then press Enter key. To 
To restore the original MAC address, simply click Restore Original button. Let us check the original physical address by typing ipconfig space slash all and then hit enter key. Once again, let's try to view only the MAC address by typing get MAC and then press enter key. That's all for today. I hope you learned this technique. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate your support. May God bless us. Keep safe and have a nice day. Don't forget to subscribe.